हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ फ्री फुल एंथिस कोर्स ब्रॉट टू यू बाय सागन टेक इन दिस सेशन वी विल डेल्व डेल्व इनटू द बेसिक्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग और सीएई एंड द फंडामेंटल्स थ्योरी ऑफ डिजाइन वैलिडेशन वेदर यू आर जस्ट स्टार्टिंग और लुकिंग फॉर डिपेंड योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस सेशन इज फॉर यू सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट वी हैव Uh, what is design validation design validation ensures that the product or part we plan to manufacture can withstand different loads and conditions without failing think of it it like a stress testing a, a bridge to ensure it won't collapse under heavy traffic for example if you are designing a chair Design validation ensures it won't break under the weight of someone sitting on it. It involves in analyze, uh, analyzing stress, deformation, fatigue, life, and more before manufacturing to avoid costly errors. So, methods of design validation. So, first is analytical, second is numerical, and third is experimental. so different ways to validate the design so we, we will consider a example of rectangular wall and we will apply the point load and methods to validate a design so there are three methods to validate any design so the first is analytical and second is numerical and third is experimental so in in analytical this method uses mathematical formula to calculate the behavior of design for for instance if we need to calculate the stress in a rectangular beam you could use a standard formulas from machine mechanics while it is highly accurate it can only handle simple cases and very time consuming and second is numerical numerical methods like the finite element method solve real world problems and speed and can work on complex geometries without needing a physical prototype for example let's say you are designing a car using fem you can simulate the stress distribution on its chassis during a crash and third is numerical experimental method this method involves testing physical prototypes it's the most reliable since it con considers real world errors but it's costly and time consuming for example wind tunnels testing for an aeroplane being design is a experimental approach so next we have methods to validate a design so there are three methods to validate a design so the first is analytical and second is numerical and uh, third is experimental so we will uh, study the advantages and disadvantages of each of three so the analytical methods has some advantages which are it gives 100% accurate results and disadvantages are only find the re results if you have formulas and it is time consuming and it is accurate can't be believed blindly uh, it calculations can be done only on single point and in numerical method its advantages we can solve real life complicated problems and uh, faster for results results can be achieved on entire geometry and it is applicable if a physical prototype is not available and disadvantage is approximate results and third is experimental method so um, experimental method had advantages like uh, it, in physical manufacturing errors can be considered in results and actual measurements can be done and disadvantage is time consuming and need experience setup and applicable only if physical prototype prototype is available and minimum of three or five prototype must be tested before uh, getting the result and we have numerical methods so in numerical method there are four methods so the first is finite element method and second is boundary element method and third is finite volume method and fourth is finite difference method so we will study each of them them so the first is finite element method so the uh, finite element method is a numerical technique for finding approximate solution to boundary value problems for partial difference equations it is also referred to as finite element analysis 
and this method divides a structure into a small elements to calculate stresses strain and displacement for example imagine analyzing the stress on a tall building during an earthquake fem helps simulate and predict how the building will react and the in inputs we will give to the finite element method is loads and temperatures and constraints and output we, we will achieve is forces displacements stresses and strains and inputs and outputs can vary with respect to time and the second method is finite boundary uh, boundary element method so the boundary element method focuses on the surface of a domain rather than its volume it's it is commonly used for uh, vibration analysis for instance calculating the calculating the noise levels around the jet engine boundary element method is most often used uh, as an engineering design and uh, aid sim similar to the more common finite element method but the boundary element method has the distinction and the advantages that only the surface of the domain needs to be meshed inputs we will give to the boundary element method is loads vibrations and supports and constraints output we will achieve the uh, vibration effects stresses deformations and uh, input and output can vary with respect to frequency and the third method is finite volume method which is also known as FBM and this is used for fluid dynamics like determining the air flow around the formula 1 car it calculates velocity pressure and drag coefficient most computational fluid dynamics CFD software is based on FBM, FBM method this unit uh, volume is considered in finite volume method which is similar to the finite element analysis and uh, variable variable properties at the nodes include pressure, velocity, area, mass, etc. It is based on the Navier Stokes equation, which is uh, which includes mass, momentum, and in energy conservation equations. And uh, in FVM, we uh, give the input as velocity, pressure, mass flow, and temperature. And output is same as inputs like velocity, pressure, and temperature. And uh, liquid mass volume fraction and lift of drag coefficient next method is finite difference method which is fourth uh, um, which is fourth method and the finite uh, finite difference method is uh, often used alongside other methods to solve complex coupled problems such as stress uh, thermal stress analysis in an engine Finite element method and finite difference method share many common things. In general, the finite difference method is described as a way to solve differential equation. It is used in combination with BEM and FVM to solve thermal and CFD coupled problems. We need to find out how much stresses are generated on the airplane being due to wind or fluid. In FVM, we can we cannot uh, find the stresses but we can find the load pressure exerted by the air after getting loads from FVM we use FVM to get stress results this cup this coupling of multiple methods is known as finite difference method so you can see in the figure that how the analysis is performed and next is what is CAE CA is a computer aided engineering it's all about using software to analyze and optimize designs it integrates closely with CAD which is computer related design while CAD focuses on creating the design's geometry and appearance CAE tests and improves it imagine designing a smartphone in a CAD and using CAE to ensure it uh, survives drops and resistance overheating and CAE is a broad usage of computer software to aim in engineering analysis task. It includes finite element analysis, computational fluid dynamics, and multi-body dynamics and optimization etc. CAE retrieves description and geometry from a CAD database. It is used in almost every industry such as aerospace, automobile manufacturing. CAE depends on CAD. And what is the difference between CAD and CA? So 
CAD is used to create the detailed 2D or 3D models and drawing of products. It focuses on geometry, appearance, and manufacturing of the design. But other side, CAE is used to analyze and test design through simulations like stress, heat, and fluid flow. It predicts how to product will how the product will perform under the real world conditions and helps improve it. In short, CAD is for designing while CAE for testing and optimizing those designs. So here is the procedure or uh, we can say flow chart of analysis. So the first we will create the CAD model and we will mesh uh, the model and we will apply the loading conditions and we can get the results. So with this, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe the subscribe Sagan Tech channel.